Hey everybody, it's me Dave. Anyway, um, here's the final setup right here. Here's the disc in its complete form. You notice that the inside is a little bit loose. It's actually just being held on by the four screws and by the zip ties and there's just a piece of tape on there to kind of keep it together. But that's it right there. And I'm going to energize it. Now, I will have to tell you that I did energize it previously, but the video didn't uh, turn out so good. So, anyway, I'm going to re-energize it just so you can see the difference. But just watch the compass needle as I energize. Did you see it flip around? I can send it back the other way. Maybe. There, there it went. Sometimes it takes a little bit before it'll uh, spin around. But anyway, it is now magnetically locked. For a surety. I'll just stick these wires down in here to get them out of the way. Mount this on the disc real quick. Or on the, on the bearing. It's actually really well balanced. Anyway, I was going to do something with some metals here, but I don't really need to just yet. There's some of the videos that I'd like to shoot, but anyway, there it is, the finished the finished model and I can tell you right now that this has more output than the original one does and I think it really is because of the zinc on there because I left most of the zinc on now something I do have to mention though is that um, I did put a little bit of terminal grease on each of the connections just a tiny little bit just to keep those connections clean because it is going to be sent around so people can check it out but I'm going to keep it for a little bit do a couple more tests on it but there it is.